Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love, episode 84. Let's go ahead and get started. Ugh. I've imagined meeting this man so many times. The way we met and how it ended was different every time. But one thing remained the same. How he looked. In my imagination, he was always a villain. But now, his face framed by his golden hair was beautiful. I could almost hear the background music playing. Wait, there's actually a, it is music. Huh? Oh. oh. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Did you miss me that much, eh, Sue? You looked really hard for me. Did I miss you? This guy's definitely weird. I can tell by your expression you're thinking this guy's definitely weird. But don't I look stunning? Huh? I put some effort into it. The all-white suit in Armani paired with Mary Nella's best Mikado silk necktie. Just so you know, only 20 were ever made. I wonder if the veil might be a bit much, but first impressions are the most important. I want an angelic feel. Yeah, as for the location, I want it someplace holy. <laughs> His nose. <laughs> gloater well anyway i just wanted to look nice as a fan <laughs> what do you think it's okay your pal pal hen 88 right oh. Tch. jelly pop meringue ceo the incidents it's all you right are you interrogating me Aren't you being a little too impatient? Or are you acting like you're an angry you wouldn't like you're angry at me? I'm the one who should be pissed. Uh, he might have been wearing an angelic face, but if he wanted to, he could kill me right now. I'll be lying if I said I wasn't afraid. But the worst case scenario has only one good thing going for it, and that's that it can't get any worse. Oh. If I'm at the edge of a cliff and there's nowhere to go, I have no choice but to face my enemy. Then you came to see me because... You look scared. I guess you know what you did wrong. You think that's the only reason I'm scared? Think of what you've done. D don't talk down to me like that. Aren't you here because you want something from me? Uh, huh? Seriously? Seriously? Huh. Gosh. Well, guess I'll have to be the adult here. Huh. Unbelievable. Fine. The ending of Becoming the Black Rose Girl for Sally's. Rewrite it. Why? You're not happy with the ending? <laughs> Are you asking me if I'm happy with the fact that Gray died from breast cancer? <clears throat> Hearing someone else say it does make it sound bad. Either way, I should remain calm. Don't be scared. Stay composed. It was all messed up. I know where it all... I don't know where it all went wrong. Or how was it bad? How bad was it? Wait, hold on. I need to reread that. I don't know where it all 
went wrong or how bad it was. Am I having a seizure? Is that really what? It, are these are it's all went wrong or went wrong? Is that really a sin? Is that right? I don't know. Okay, my brain is like short circuit there. Okay, I didn't know if I could resolve it or so I just ended it. Roughly, I threw in a line. Roughly, yes, that's right. Well, will he take the bait? I could have just left it incomplete, but it bothered me. I just ended it in any way I could and put it off my docket. Unbelievable. Don't you feel any sense of responsibility as an author? If you get stuck while writing, do you just discard it like that? I really like the world you created. But you, the writer, have less affection for the work than me, a mere reader. I'm so disappointed. Then what should have I done? You should have resolved it in some way, untangled the story somehow, and ended it appropriately. Or at the very least, just leave it. If you care about your characters, why do you feel the need to kill them? Duh. Got him. No. I don't need to. There is no need to kill him. You're right. I'll rewrite it. The ending. Similar, similarly, you too should also rethink some things. Instead of just discarding it. Got him. His, his face like, damn. Operation True Love, episode 84. <laughs> Fine. Shall we sit? Mm. Uh? Contract. Meringue Corporation. Here and after referred to as Party A. And Sue A. Shim. Here and, here and after referred to as Party B. Into a, a contract as follows. Party A, Party B. Article 1. Conditions of Party A. Provisions regarding the responsibilities of Party B. Article 2. Conditions of Party B. Provisions regarding the responsibilities of Party A. Then should we draft a contract? <sighs> Man, he's a heavy smoker. It all went according to the plan. It did. Contract. Here he goes. So, provision regarding the responsibilities of Party B, which is Sue. Party B shall delete the unnatural ending of Becoming the Black Rose Girl of Versailles that is currently uploaded on their blog and re-upload a more natural, generally acceptable ending to the novel. novel. Two, if Party B does not upload chapters periodically within a specific period, Party A may terminate the contract without notifying Party B. Why do I feel so bad? It feels like I've lost. Well, one, Party A shall respect Party B as consenting contractor during the con contract period. Two, Party A. A shall leave open the possibility of an error in the system and conduct research to resolve this problem. 3. Party A shall not threaten Party B's life or cause injury until the final result is reached. 4. Even if it's revealed that Party B is the only error in the system, as a result of the research, Party A will not arbitrarily handle this problem. First, they must notify Party B of the fact and then decide to per take processing procedures after Party B recognizes this fact. Etc. Etc. B. 
because a high schooler has got you wrapped around their finger. He stated two conditions, and then she stated so much more. Ugh, maybe I should have dressed in all black instead of white. Do you really think that was the issue? That's so funny. <laughs> oh, he started thinking about, oh, I should have just wore all black because honestly, he got played really bad. But, hey, she's really smart for a high schooler. Hey, she is quick as a whip. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!